Welcome to Jashov, the capital of the Podkarpatia region. This is the Old Market Square, one of the most beautiful and popular places in Jashov. But these cobbled streets and picturesque buildings witnessed the fate of its inhabitants, among them the martyrdom of its huge Jewish community. Reisha, as Jews used to call this beautiful city, used to be a business center. There were many stores built up around the marketplace. On market days, there were hundreds of stalls. At those times, Reshuf would be filled with thousands of Jews from near and far selling or buying goods. But present-day Reshuf is not associated with Jews, even though we encounter monuments of their culture on daily basis. We don't even realize how often we walk by apartment buildings for just a hundred years ago, conversations in Yiddish were the norm. We got used to the narrow streets of the former ghetto, the characteristic shapes of synagogues, cemeteries where tombstones have no crosses but stars of David. The only people that seem to remember the meaning of these places are the oldest citizens of Jeshuv. In their heads remain the memories of thousands of Jews being taken to concentration camps. This was Germany's way of destroying the culture and traditions that date back to the 16th century. You can't hear them praying in Yiddish or humming Hasidic melodies, but our past shouldn't be forgotten. This is where we will begin the extraordinary story of the Jewish community. The documents of Jeshuf contain the fragments about Jews from the year 1550. We read in them they had a cemetery, a synagogue, and a school. They could not, however, settle in the city and build houses. They lived in the old town area of the synagogue, for example, on Bozhnicha Street. The building you see behind me is one of the oldest synagogues in Podkarpatia. Built in 1610, it served as a place of worship and religious studies. This structure is sometimes referred to as the Little Synagogue due to its smaller size as compared to the Novomeska Synagogue. During World War II, this house of prayer was devastated and torched by the Nazis. It is now completely restored and currently off limits to visitors. A couple of hundred years ago, in this spot near the little synagogue, a Jewish cemetery was established. We don't know the exact date it was created, but the oldest tombstone dates back to the 16th century. The necropolis was gradually destroyed during World War II. The monument contains the following inscription in both Polish and Hebrew. On this ground lay the remains of a 16th century Jewish cemetery, which was destroyed during World War II. In the summer of 1942, Jews were gathered here before taken to concentration camps. This is where our story ends. On July 7, 1942, Jeshu's ghetto began to be dismantled. Almost all the Jews living in the ghetto were sent to a concentration camp in Berzets or shot in forests near Gwagov. Out of 2,500 people who lived in Jeshu's ghetto, only about 100 to 200 people managed to survive, hidden by Jeshul's citizens. The name Risha is no longer heard, and there is no Jewish community. There are only the relics of the past, the mute witnesses of their tragic fate. Despite the passage of time, the people of Jeshul remember the victims of the German occupation. In main parts of the city, one can find monuments devoted to the murdered Jews. One of the memorials is located at the victims of the ghetto square. City residents each year participate in the International Day of Holocaust Remembrance to commemorate the people for whom Jeshuf, Orisha, 
was once their place on earth.